Yeah. Now, see, this is something that our audience to see with me to know about. Okay. Because, Carl, you came up with something original. It's not mm -hmm. out there. Dracula yep. at Midnight Dra is a special yep. thing that you did. Nobody it, else yeah. has this. How did you come up with it? Well, it's a sig signature drink that I made because I wanted to do, we have done a couple of drink episodes mm -hmm. and I wanted to uh, have something signature, something original that was for us. Now, how I came up with Dracula at Midnight, the title, I thank my nephew, my oldest nephew for that. Thank you! Because I looked up everything Dra and every name I came up with it was it was used. It was already used. You actually looked this up to me. Actually, I did research. I did research. I looked it up, and I looked up the name. Then I looked up like ingredients that I wanted to use. I looked up ingredients. And I couldn't find anything that kind of went with this. And so I, I have an interesting imagination, as they know. Okay, and so man. I just, <laughs> so I just went with it. And because you know we're gonna have a little celebration and stuff, I want to have an original drink that we could showcase. So that's that's why, yeah. The, you said the nephew thought of that. My name? oldest nephew thought of that. Yes. And you got all the ingredients. Yeah, you and, I, about all and, that. and I thought about all the ingredients and to get it together. And then I made my family my guinea pigs. Oh Lord! <laughs> yeah, because we're gonna try yeah. it later on the show. So. Yep. Yeah. And I made my family my guinea pigs and had them try it. And they gave me, you know, their notes on it. And that's why I don't have ice in this drink. Because they said it was perfectly good just making sure that specific ingredients were cold. Yeah. And, you know, and one of those things, and I realized that the black food coloring, because I want to get it on my hands, you need gloves. But I've been trying to do it where I can do it and, and I don't get it on there. It never happened. Mm -hmm. So when we when we make it for the party, I probably will wear gloves. Right. Will you make <laughs> yeah. this every year at Halloween? Yeah, I probably will make this every year at Halloween. And I'm actually working on variations for like Thanksgiving, Christmas. I'm working on variations of this. Way to go. Yeah. Way to go. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna be a mixologist, people. An original mixologist. <laughs> yeah, this is the original. And like I said, if you know, and I was thinking to myself, if you all find, you know, Dracula at midnight as a drink recipe and you find it. We would really like to know if you find it, uh, and it has these specific, all of these specific ingredients. I'd really like to know. We'd like to know. Right. But um, yeah, this is this is uh, my my gift to my seedlings and to uh, okay, you're our seedlings. I call my seedlings our seedlings, and for you guys and for our party. Yes. Now, personally, I know my son when he watches this, uh -huh. he has a company he does called Drinks with Drinks on Me. Uh -huh. And it tickles me because when I asked him about this, first thing he said, Ooh, I like that, Dad. Ooh. Who's is that? I said, that's Carla's original. Don't, don't. He Ooh. said, well, uh, I might use it. And well, if he used it. It's used, it already and nobody even knows about it. Well, if he uses it, I get credit for it. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. and if you all use it, you know, and, I, and give me credit, Carla, the C group, and so you can see my little black. I think I will have a little black because I've been fooling around making them. If, <laughs> but if you if you use it, you know, let us know, yeah. you know, and you know, say the C Carla C Group drink Dracula at Midnight. Yep. Yep. <laughs> is so, there a, is there an alcoholic version? You know what? We're oh, gonna oh, we're gonna fool, we're yeah, gonna yeah, fool, yeah, we're gonna yeah, fool yeah, around yeah. with this, but we have talked about you know, and it's been talked about and stuff. But I think the consensus is because we talked about like sparkling wines and and um, champagne, but I vodka. think yeah, but I think we settled on. I think now I'm thinking about it. I think vodka. If you're a drinker, I think vodka yeah. to swap out the ginger beer for vodka would probably be better. Yeah, keep the ginger beer. Oh, can you mix vodka and ginger beer together? Mix anything with vodka. Okay, so that's an extra ingredient. Bo that's an extra ingredient. Add the vodka with the ginger beer and, and all the other stuff. This is okay. not alcohol. So you got your alcohol and your non alcohol yeah. and all of that kind and of it's stuff. It's still Dracula at midnight. It's still Dracula at midnight. And with the food coloring, you know, you may dye your tongue a little bit. And, you know, but we're going to wrap it up. And so that's how I came up with it. Signature drink, Dracula at midnight, C Group podcast, Carla's drink. She did it. <laughs> Look at him looking at admirably at me. <laughs>
This guy over here. <laughs> I'm the strong, quiet type. <laughs> this is Norman, and this is Albert here. <laughs> you know me. I gotta be cool. And our wonderful, amazing, <laughs> tr- and our wonderful, amazing producer Marcus. Yeah. Hello, Marcus. Yeah. Marcus. Yay! Well, if you see us dressed up like this, this is Halloween. Woo, we're celebrating. We're getting ready for our Halloween stuff. So, Halloween extravaganza. So, I am a makeshift version of Little Red Riding Hood. Good to me. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And what are you, Norman? Because I have ideas. What are you? What are your ideas? Yeah. Okay, I think go. Uh, I thought Ghost Rider. Okay. I was thinking Ghost Rider. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Because he asked me, what did I think he was? And, I, and like I said, I said Ghost Rider. Um, what else? Who's that? Skeletor? Skele- Skeletor is a good That's one. That's what I was thinking. Skeletor. Skeletor is a good one. Yeah. So who are you exactly? Or just a skeleton? Still Norman. No, I'm not just anything. You know, I'm not the pick up. You got to speak up because you, uh, you literally, I'm hearing you through your mask. Let's hear you. Would you let the secret out? This is not a mask. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I absolutely love this. That's a kid. That didn't. Well, who are you, Albert? Me? Oh, yes. me. I'm getting ready for a gig. I have a gig tonight, you know. Okay. I'm playing tonight. Shit. So, so he. Bash. We're playing the Monster Mash. So, <laughs> so he's he's in his he's in his gig outfit. Yeah. And and I, like yeah. I said, Marcus never ceases to amaze me with what he's <laughs> able to accomplish and wear. So, but because uh, we're gonna because it's gonna be a Halloween party. Uh, we decided, or I decided, because they haven't even tried it yet. Uh, I, de- <laughs> okay. I decided to make something called Dracula at Midnight, and I thought, and this is really, really cool. Yeah. So um, they have never tried it before. I have tried it. I've tried it with my family, and they're and they liked it. So we're gonna see if they do. Yeah. Now the secret is, all these ingredients, the only two that have to really be cold. Is the ginger beer and the real lemon. Right. And so basically what we have oh. is, it's cold. So what we have is four ingredients and a garnish. So we have ginger beer, we have blackberry syrup, we have real lemon. Now you could use fresh lemon, but because we're in the studio, I decided to use the real lemon, the bottled kind. And then we have black food coloring. Now, I decided, now the glass is very important in what you use. I was going to use a Nick and Nora coupe because it has this really beautiful stem. But because we're going to be at a party and I will be making a lot of these, because it's going to be, <laughs> because it's going to be at a party, I decided to use a stemless cocktail glass. Because I just think, because it looks pretty and it'll really display uh, the drink and all of that. So we're going to start. So the first thing you do it, and like I said, on the side of me, when I actually make it, it's going to be a tub of ice filled with all this stuff to keep it cold. Cool. Yeah, I know, right? So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to use our ginger beer. You can use any flavor you want, any strength you want. But I decided to use a mild ginger beer. So we're going to pour this in. And you can use your favorite. And we're going to pour this halfway. Okay, so it's halfway full. And now we're going to add blackberry syrup. So we're going to add a half teaspoon. This stuff goes a long way. Again, you can use your favorite brand of blackberry syrup. We are not being compensated for any of these items that we're using. They're just my nice. favorite type. We'll be nice. <laughs> Compensate us for these items. So we're, we're going to use. We're going to do a half teaspoon. Ooh, I poured a little bit more of blackberry syrup. It's okay. I know. Now you know what? This looks nice. Can I just this one? no. Oh. This, <laughs> this looks nice just like it is. But because this is a sweet and tart um, drink, we're also going to add a little bit of lemon. Yeah, that's from the normal. <laughs> so we add a four teaspoon of lemon. You can add a little less. This is kind of to your taste. I kind of like the four teaspoon, but it's actually to taste. Cool. So now, now this looks great just like it is. And it has that little reddish tinge and stuff to it. But this is Dracula at Midnight, people. So we're going to add black food coloring. <laughs> now, 
The interesting thing about this is you want you you might want to use gloves for this. I didn't, so I have a little bit of a black food coloring on. You might on my fingers, but you might want to use uh, a plastic glove for this. But because I thought it was good, I can get away without getting it on my on my fingers. Didn't work. But anyway, we're gonna use one drop. Boom. That's it. One drop. Boop. One drop. That's all you need is one drop. Some strong stuff. Some strong stuff. And now we're gonna stir Ooh. it. Ooh. So now we have the midnight of Dracula at midnight. So now we're gonna do the transformation. This is our garnish. So we're gonna use cotton candy. Now you can use Ooh. any type of cotton. You can use any type of cotton candy you want. I decided for this case to use a flavored cotton candy. You can use any brand you want. So this is an apple flavored cotton candy, or you can use a plain. But oh, I see. Oh, I see our. I see our producer's fingers. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Woo. So now we're going to drop it in. Now this is the transformation. This is Dracula transforming. Now we're going to put it in. Check it out. And there you go. And that's Dracula at midnight. So guys, you never tasted. You want to bring the drinks over? Yeah, let's check this. Let's check it out. So we're going to bring the drinks over and we're going to try them. We hope we can see. <laughs> Jenny? I think he can. I'll take that. You take that, and then and then I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna give you all. Let's give this to Marcus. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. There you go, the hand. And then he has it. So I'm gonna. So we're gonna pass I'll drink out. That. So, uh oh, almost. Oh. Yeah. No, so there's it. your cotton candy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that would have oh, been I'm funny. Put it in here, right? Yeah, and on the count of three, we're gonna dump it. Oh. I got to have any. Yeah, and my hands and my hands are clean. I clean my hands just oh. so you know, because I'm hand. I know you're a problem with my knees. She's hand. I did clean my hands. Okay, I'm gonna do another one. Cause I like how it looks. This reminds me really sweet. On the count of three, one, one two, three. Yay. And I just love how I look. So before you serve it to your guests, and this is what I'm gonna do at the party. Before I serve it, then I'm gonna dump it in before I give it to them, or I'm maybe give to them, give it, give it to them. Sorry, and let them do it themselves. So let's try it. Let me know what you think. Okay. Mm -hmm. It smells great. I don't know how he's gonna do this. Mm. What do you think? Tastes nice. pretty good. Yeah. Tastes pretty good. See, but the key is have it have at least your ginger beer and your um, lemon cold. Pass That's it. the no, key. He's gonna need that lemon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too late dripping check. <laughs> now it was <laughs> good enough for me to start. Now. <laughs> Fresh lemon, fresh lemon <laughs> is <laughs> fresh lemon is always better. But like I said, because I'm going to be serving this at the bar, mm -hmm. we're just, we're definitely going to go with the real lemon. Yeah. And like I said, I'm going to be making a lot of these. That was a treat. That and was I'm a glad treat. you and, 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 yeah, and, it, oh, and like God. I said, it's got it's got a candyish kind of kind of candy sweet. What do you think, Marcus? What do you think uh, it tastes like? Uh, I think it's good. It tastes like a it tastes like a sweet grape pop. Yeah, but, but but like with a tinge of something. With a tinge think, of something, yeah. I the yeah. cotton candy. I, I, I taste the cotton uh -huh. candy. Though. Taste the cotton mm -hmm. candy. Yeah, because the cotton candy and 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 because I'm using the flavor, an uh, apple flavor, you might taste a little bit more of the cotton candy, but you can taste the sweetness. But it is a sweet drink. So if you're, you know, so at our party, what we're gonna have and all that kind of stuff, this will go with some of the uh, savory items that right. we're gonna have. Mm -hmm. But this is this is really great. So I know Albert, you were asking me uh, what I could do instead if I want to make this alcoholic. Oh, yeah. the same thing. Yeah. So if you yeah, want to make this, <laughs> back to the drunk at midnight. <laughs> if you want to make it alcoholic, you can trade out the ginger beer and use a uh, use a wine. You could use, you know, you could no, use some no. some, some sort of spark. You could use a sparkling wine. Champagne. No. <laughs> do it. Isn't, isn't champagne like a sparkling wine anyway? But yeah, champagne. Champ no, but I'm, honestly, no. Champagne is probably a better idea if you want to make this alcoholic. Champagne is probably a better idea. Use everything that we have here, and then use champagne with it. Yep. Yeah, so this is this is really this is really great. I think it's gonna be a hit. Hopefully, it'll be a hit at the party. I think it's gonna. So, guys, you think it's gonna be a hit? I think it's gonna be a hit. But yeah, but he's got a but. One other thing. Well, okay. If you're gonna make this really good, 
Oh, vodka or tequila, somebody in there. See, okay. That's nice, but we want to. Okay, you know what? Okay, okay. we're going to, because, okay, if you all try this, tell me what, and you made it alcoholic, tell me what you put in it. I'll be honest with you, over the champagne and the sparkling wine, mm -hmm. I think vodka would probably be better. Yeah. If you use the vodka, you use the unflavored vodka, and yeah. swap that out for the ginger beer, unflavored vodka with the blackberry <laughs> syrup. <laughs> the lemon and I would suggest uh, fresh lemon for that one and the black food coloring but it's but it's still great I mean it's a great yeah. flavor if you if you try this let us know and uh, we will put the ingredients down in the description below and if you try it let us know so we're gonna get ready to get out of here we're gonna pack all this stuff up and get ready to go yes sir he's got something to say I got one more thing to one say one more thing to say hey Sonny check out the outfit when you get a chance put a comment down there cause she wore that you know it's really cool again <laughs> I couldn't help it. He keeps asking me, what are you going to wear next? Okay. I'm to tell him. Look at the show and see. So. Happy trick or treat, Jack. <laughs> from, from Marcus's amazing, from Marcus's amazing costume. Right. To Albert's gig outfit, because he's going to be playing for the gig, so. Yes. He's going to be playing Albert, uh, mm -hmm. Albert's gig costume. Uh, Norman's. What's that laugh? You do that laugh. That With laugh. laugh. You know that laugh, that horror laugh. What? You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so down. much. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this Halloween episode where we made Dracula's at midnight. Yes. He gets too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is but this was this is really great. Dracula at midnight. And whatever Norman is, if you know, because he really hasn't told us, put it down in the comments below, cause I, I have my, we have our guesses. I do love that. I do, I do love that. I love that. It reminds me of Three Stooges movie where they had the thing that he was in the movie, <laughs> flying through and he was talking. Okay. So thank you all for joining us. Plant a seed and watch it grow. Bye bye. No, no, no. You're supposed to say good what? boo. Good boo? Yeah. Okay, well, before I say good boo, if you like content like this, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, and I think that's it. I think that's all. YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Well, if, if they're watching us, we're on YouTube. They're watching us on YouTube. LinkedIn. 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 There you go. Yeah. So that's all. Snapchat. We are okay. There's more stuff I know that we're not on. Yeah. So that's that's all from us. And as we like to say, good evening. Thank you for joining us again. Dracula at midnight. Plant a seed and watch it grow. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>